Okay, well that's a big mess right there. Let me fix it real quick. Okay, that's a lot better. Now, what's the point of this video? The point of this video is basically a typical small review of the PS4 and how to figure out how to get a great deal on buying a used PS4 console. Okay, whoa, whoa, let's get this fixed right here. Okay, well, there we go. So what we're talking about today is how to buy a used PS4. Also going to give a little bit of a review about it because I know a lot of you guys are probably concerned about that. Now, as you can see, my PS4 is in pretty good condition. I took very good care of this console in general. Well, as I said, I take pretty decent care of my electronics. And in fact, that's why my PS4 probably looks such in good condition right now because, well, I took care of it. This PS4 overall has been a great console, great reliability, great everything. Now what I can say is the console does get very loud and you will tend to notice that as you own one and over time it will get louder. I haven't really powered it up in a while so let's just go ahead and boot it up. But before we do that, let's discuss what comes in the box with the PS4. Now the console comes with a cord in the box, it also comes with a PS4 controller and as well, it comes with the PS4 console, as stated. Now to look at the realm of importance. First, we have the PS4 console, which costs $250 to replace. Then we have the PS4 controller, which costs $60 to replace, and the cord, which is $10. I almost forgot about the HDMI cable. It is very cheap to replace. Okay, well, now it's time to boot up the console. First, you need your monitor, you need your plugins, you need pretty much all the outlets that you need. First off, you'll plug that HDMI cord into the back of the monitor, which is pretty obvious. And then you will power on the console by just a click of a button. Then you'll power on the PS4 controller, which will then prompt you to sign in. Now it's time to get into the deep, dark specs of the console under the part where you can't see. So with the, all the lights turned out, let's finally turn on our thinking bulb right here and we'll start laying out the specs for you guys. So to lay out the specs really quick for you, it's a single chip custom processor, an x86-64 AMD processor with eight gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Now one thing you'll have to worry about is updating the console, which is a quite big thing on PS4s whenever you sell them, because usually the people who sell them don't update the consoles before they sell them. So make sure that you ask them to update it so you won't have to waste time whenever you get your console. Like it shows here, it wastes a good amount of time. This is just showing a short part of it. It also comes with two USB-A ports and it also another part of me showing the update files. And then it'll finally prompt you to welcome back to PlayStations. You'll sign into the home screen, you'll pick your game, you'll plug everything in the back, make sure you have everything updated. Then I wanted to play Apex to show you guys an in-depth tour of how well this thing would perform, but of course it had to update. So we switched to Fortnite. I wanted to tell you how the fans sound after the Fortnite experience, but it wasn't quick enough. So I switched to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which as you see, I plugged the disc in. That brings up another topic you wanna bring up whenever you're buying a PS4. You wanna make sure that disc drive works so you get the best performance out of that disc drive because obviously the disc drive is what causes the most issues. So I plugged in a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and in fact, I played it for a bit. But then after a few prompts, something may have happened that was unexpected. The absolute horrifying fan noise of the PS4 console. And as well, it's genuinely not a big deal, but if you can hear it past your headset, it's a pretty big deal to me. It's a deal breaker in a lot of departments for me because I prefer a quiet, calm place. And this does not really show it. I'm not going to lie to you guys because I want you guys, this is an honest review channel. I want you guys to know what you're getting yourselves into. That disk drive is very loud. But I came across another issue around the console, which really drove me insane. After you will see, I obviously went into Exo Survival and well, a few minutes later, I got a prompt saying that the disk was not able to read. Now this is one of the harmful detrimental things because first off, since the PS4 runs it so loud, the only way you can check it is taking that disc out of your PS4. Sadly, the PS4 does have a history of damaging disc. As you can see, when it inserts out, you flip it to the back 
look how many scratches this thing has had. Not very likely to play that disc again. But overall, to sum this video up, I love the PS4. It's a fantastic experience. It will not be a perfect console. Every console has downsides. But this one for sure is worth your buy. And when I say worth your buy, I believe a reasonable price point for a PS4 Slim console of today would be $175 flat. Anything for an original PS4, I would do $200, and then a PS4 Pro, I would do $225. That sounds reasonable, and if anything is above that, I do not believe it will be worth your money or time to buy that console. Now, overall, there are a very small amount of issues about the PS4 console. More of them are annoying rather than detrimental to your console, so just keep that in fact. But if you are a disc gamer, it will be hard for you to play on the PS4 console. So please keep that in mind. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope all of y'all have a great day. If you like the content, I will be posting more like this, so please like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much, and I hope you have a great day.